guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna do a quick intro. I wasn't gonna do an intro for this video, but now I need one because I totally didn't plug in my mic. So the sound in this video is non-existent. So basically what we're gonna do is y'all gonna have to watch this video with a voiceover. Now, you will see my face as an initial reaction to what's happening, but you will not hear me. So I'm going to try to narrate this as best as possible. It's gonna be interesting because um, this is like a like a first impressions kind of thing. So there, it's you just gotta watch it. Basically, I mixed all my foundations, all my concealers, all my setting powders, and all my primers to do my full face today. Um, and the result well you guys will know the results at the end so yeah i hope that's not too confusing for you all just watch the video okay because i'm really upset make me happy like this video comment we're gonna get into this all right so getting started i used three different cups um i was trying to explain this in the video but i'm glad i'm getting you to re-explain this because i didn't explain it right so i'm gonna use one cup for primer one cup for foundation and the other cup for setting powders and concealers are gonna be done on a little plastic pan because the concealer was really hard to get out and I just figured why waste a whole cup for that. So um, when I saw other people do this, they mixed together all of their primers, all of their foundations, all of their concealer, whatever product they were gonna use. They just mixed together everything they had. So I'm gonna mix together all of the things that I have available. So this is the Origins Pore Perfecting Primer and it's in a aerosol can. <laughs> And I didn't realize that, but yeah, it was kind of weird. It was shooting out kind of, kind of jank. So had to squeeze it a little bit, but got it in there. That's all that matters. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, the Collab Fundamental Hydrating Primer, which I really, really like. This is the Hourglass Mineral Veil, the MAC Prep and Prime Skin, which is another one of my faves. This is Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, which is a primer moisturizing one. This is Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the mattifying and the smoothing. I used both because why not, you know? The more the merrier. Squeeze a little bit too much out, but it's cool. So this is the Cover FX Blurring Primer, which she acting like she didn't want to come out. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer, the oil-free version. This is Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. Pores No More by Dr. Brandt. And this is the Bare Minerals Combo Control Balancing Primer. I really like that one too. Using a little spatula to mix that together. And that is the concoction. It's a nice throw up color. All right, so moving forward to foundation. This is NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in the color Cadiz. Huda Beauty Gingerbread Foundation, the Faux Filter Foundation in the color Gingerbread, Bare Minerals Barrel Pro Performance Wear Foundation in the color Chai. This is LA Girl Pro Coverage and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Uh, Y445 is my color. Fenty Beauty Foundation, I mixed together both colors that I have, which is 360 and 410. This is NARS mm, Sheer Glow Foundation in the color Macau. NYX Total Control Foundation, Drop Foundation, color Caramel. Matte Poreless Foundation by Maybelline, and this is the color Classic Tan, and I used way too much of that. This is the Hourglass Immaculate Foundation, and I don't know the color of it. This is Clinique Stay Matte Cream Color, Cream Caramel, I'm sorry, Cream Caramel Foundation. This is Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color 5W1 Bronze. That's Cover FX Natural Radiance, Natural Finish, just kidding, Natural Finish in N85, which is too dark for me. So we'll see how that turns out. This is MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the color NC45, which is not my shade. A lot of these shades are my summer shades, so they're kind of orange. In the wintertime, it's a little, it's more cool in the wintertime, and then in the summertime, I'm a little more warm. So the orange kind of scared me. It looked really orange. So I was hoping that it would be the right shade. We'll just keep our fingers crossed. Okay, so moving forward to the little pan where I'm gonna mix my concealers. This is the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced in the color tan. And this is ColourPop, ColourPop Concealer in the color tan 50. 
this is bobby brown concealer in the color golden and i don't like this applicator at all because it does not get enough product out okay so i'm rolling my eyes because i'm about to use the tarte shape take concealer even though we canceled them y'all they are canceled but whatever catch me outside tarte how about that but this is collab concealer in the color caramel and this is nars concealer in the color caramel as well and both of those concealers are really similar by the way just in case you needed a dupe all right so those are the concealers that we got this is laura mercier powder in the color medium deep this is becca soft light blurring powder in the color golden hour rcma no color powder which i really really love i've like grown to really love it this is la girl pro powder in the color banana sasha buttercup powder this is Wouter by Glossier, and this is the darker shade, and I am not sure how to work those, the, the tops in these. This one and this one. This is the MAC Studio Fix Perfecting Powder, and both of those have that weird top that I just don't really get. It's hard to get the product out. This is Collab Setting Powder, and this is the yellow shade. I'm not remembering what the name is, but this is Fit Me Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and I'm just going to mix all that. Oh, and the Maybelline Fit Me is medium deep. Mixing all that together and yeah so moving forward we're gonna put on the primer and the primer was really interesting uh it was really thick <laughs> it kind of made like a really thick body butter consistency i was really hoping it would be more like a i don't know like a lotiony not lotiony but mm, i don't know it was just really thick and stiff it felt like i was putting butter but body butter on my face um it wasn't as much as a smoothing primer as it usually like usually i really like like smoothing primers that kind of like are silicone-y but this one was was pretty thick so i don't know so this is the foundation like i said it's kind of orange so i was really hoping that it would be the right shade you can see my apprehensiveness <laughs> but i was actually pretty surprised it didn't end up being as orange as i thought it would be which was interesting so i decided to blend it out first with a beauty blender so it's looking a little mustardy hashtag mustard on the beat but listen it gets better just 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 wait on it <laughs> the coverage with a brush is definitely much better so i was feeling like you know the brush was working a little better for me but it definitely is full coverage i mean if anything the coverage is super full cam was watching me and like i don't like people watching me when i do my makeup it kind of made me nervous and like are you just gonna stand there or what the coverage though do you see this coverage like yo and the color match really wasn't that bad as i kept blending it out it kept getting better i was like wow look at this uh we may have done something guys so the concealer wasn't my fave i will say i did not like the concealer only because i couldn't get enough out like I just could not get enough product out with those doe foot applicators um it was really hard for me to get enough to mix together so i ended up like using it felt like i was using only one pump on both eyes i just wasn't a fan of how much came out when i tried to mix it together so yeah i was i just wasn't a huge fan of the concealer the whole concept of mixing them all together just yeah yeah yeah, yeah. not my favorite but the coverage on that foundation though okay so getting back to the powder the powder um also was not my favorite only because my skin is a little drier in the winter time right now so i felt like it was a little too matte like it was real heavy the powder was heavy um it was definitely good for setting i mean if you want your face to be set sister if you have oily skin and you want your face to not move because I put this all over my face. I ended up using a powder puff to put it all over my face just to see how it would do if I set my whole face with it. And I mean, it was smooth, but it was definitely on the chalkier side, um, which I didn't really like. And I mean, but it's set though. Like if you want a good set, listen, I <laughs> mix all your powders together, bruh. Like that's definitely what we got out of this was a good set it was really matte and i just in the winter time i'm not a huge matte fan you know yeah face was getting real tight <laughs> but the powder and foundation together was definitely giving me full coverage vibes like if anything my face was so full coverage it was smooth would have been really shocked by the full coverage -ness -ness -ness. um so yeah 
So this is the finished product. Hopefully you enjoy that voiceover because <laughs> I didn't realize that the sound was not working right. I am quite thoroughly impressed with how everything turned out. I don't look as smooth as I normally do. I feel like my primers didn't like do a, they weren't, it's not the best primer concoction I've ever tried. Um, I, I prefer my primers to be a little more smoothing and that was a little more on the buttery side, but I think it actually was not too bad. Um, my skin feels dry. I think it's because like the powders that I used all together are just extremely drying. They're setting powders, so I mean, mix them all together and you've got the most set you'll ever be in your life. So I don't know if I like the setting powder. I don't know if I like the primer, but the foundation though, can we just get into this color match? I have a hard time matching my foundations to my neck and my chest. That is always the struggle with me. But because I have so many different undertones going on right now, I feel like it just works. Um, so there's that. The coverage is immaculate. Like, I mean, I'm got, I've got full coverage going on here. If you ever want full coverage, just mix all your foundations together, sis and you will have the fullest of fulls. I will say, I really like the foundation and I'm probably gonna wear it again. Um, so I will be keeping this one. This one was a winner. So for Foundation Friday, do we think this is a good foundation? Yes, we do. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's looking pretty good to me. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy that. If you did and want to see more fun videos like this or more Foundation Friday videos, I actually was going to do a Foundation Friday review on the new Maybelline foundation. If you guys wanted to see that, I don't have it in my possession because I cannot find it anywhere. I went to like five stores and nobody has it. So I will continue to look for it. And on my hunt, if I find it, I will definitely do a video for you guys. Yeah, just let me know because I'm gonna do more Foundation Fridays in 2018. What else did I have to say? Hmm. Do concealers count for Foundation Friday? Because I have a concealer that I wanna try. I don't have anything else to say. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out.